I today I am going to present the repeated lecture on machine learning for data science application, which is quite crucial in the field of data science and for every person who is interested to work in data science, he or she must be aware of machine learning approaches, which is quite simple and easy to understand. So in this lecture, you need to understand the synergy between data science and machine learning. So the synergy of data science and machine learning is revolutionizing industries and it helps you to explore the integration of these disciplines and their crucial impact on the decision making process and of course the final innovations. In general, data science you can understand in different ways in different fields, for example, data science or data engineering where you need to understand the data ingestion, data preparation, storage, and cataloging. Then data analysis, which is like many people who have less educational qualification, they are looking for data analysis jobs. So the it includes data exploration, data pre-processing, and final data insights. And then those people who have quite good background in coding and basic mathematical knowledge they also are interested in model development which is like here it includes feature engineering model training then model evaluation model registry future stores and then it goes to machine learning engineering where you can go for model serving and model deployment then finally, you look for the insights, activations, influence business decisions, influence consumer decisions, and serve other applications and services. What is the basically comparative look or insight between the machine learning and data science? So here, Data science aims for extracting insights and supporting decision making. While machine learning is easily able to fulfill the aims for automation and predictions, that means it easily addresses this point of data science where it aims for extracting insights and supporting decision making. Then second point in data science is it encompasses data analysis process. Then machine learning focuses on creating predictive models to handle these issues. Then data science works using statistics and data visualization. So machine learning required understanding of these basic statistics like regression, clustering, and more. And of course, the basic knowledge of the coding for data visualization for better representation. Then the last point here is business intelligence and the strategy, market trend analysis, customer segmentation. So here machine learning, recommendation systems, and then fraud detection, autonomous vehicles, and thus you can have some small algorithmic approach for business intelligence strategy, market trend. So basically this is how you can look for the data science and machine learning could easily provide the solution for the challenging tasks in my data science. Now, what is data science? So data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract the insights and the deep knowledge from the data it combines statistics, computer science, and domain knowledge to analyze and interpret the complex data sets. If you want to understand if data science is just normal science, like a biology, botany, geology, no. It is like a multidisciplinary field where you need to have the knowledge of more than one 
domain or subject or fields. For example, here you need to learn the basics of mathematics, then domain knowledge, and then the computer science or basic coding and programming. I always suggest to focus on one coding, for example, Python, where you can get lots of inbuilt modules where you need to spend less time in order to work on it and make your own approach. Now you can focus on analysis, programming, solving, knowledge development, structure, process, system. Then what are the key components of data science? So the key components of data science, data collection, processing, data engineering, statistics, machine learning, approach, programming languages, big data. Now, what are the applications of data science? You have already heard in my last several lectures that most common applications are healthcare, finance, manufacturing, transportation, business analytics, social media and analytics, e-commerce, entertainment. Now, before I go for challenges in data science, there are some quick questions, like some people are asking, should we study commerce or economics instead of going for data? I will prefer to ask the people to first attend the data science, and then learn some basics of economics or commerce. Now, the challenges in data science are data availability and quality, integration of data, ability to score, scale, security and privacy, model interpretability, quick advancements in technology, lack of talent. Five most common challenges are data quality and cleaning, data integration and slowed data, then scalability and big data management, model overfitting and underfitting, interpreting data and communication, communicating results. If you want to see the details of challenges in different at different levels while you are working in data science, you can look at the level of executive, the analyst, business analyst, data architect, chief data officer, data scientist. You can find a number of challenges, but if you have the domain knowledge, if you have the coding knowledge, if you have the basic mathematical knowledge, you can easily overcome all those issues. Now, there is one of the most common coding which the people mostly prefer are Python for data science. And it is free to use, so the people also prefer this Python. Then after that, it comes R. But there are lots of commercial softwares or coding environment, which are like where you need to pay. And they are also easy and easy to implement and handle. So Python's versatility and ease of use make it the ideal language for data science with powerful libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Python, and then it empowers, the Python empowers data scientists to analyze and visualize the data most effectively. So what are the top Python libraries like NumPy, SciPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and then TensorFlow? These are the most common modules which are freely available which you just need to import in your while you are coding now a statistical analysis in with python so performing a statistical analysis in python is quite easy with the libraries such as scipy and stats model these libraries offer a wide range of statistical functions and models for data analysis now Python provides a robust environment for a statistical for a statistical analysis through its extensive collection of libraries. These libraries cater to various aspects of a statistical analysis from data manipulation and descriptive statistics to inferential statistics, hypothesis testing, and advanced modeling. Now you can see in the pictorial view like how you can think about data analytics in Python and what are the modules you need to know or you need to be familiar. This is the summarized picture 
on the top in the right side. Then there are the ways of presenting the data analysis outcome. And here you can see easily the age, work class, then education, and many more things you can go for it for the analysis and presentation. The presentations or pictures are only best when your figures can good con give conclusive outcome just by looking over the pictures. Now, understanding machine learning. Machine learning is the application of algorithms that enable systems to learn and improve from the experience without being explicitly programmed. It plays a crucial role in predictive analysis and pattern recognition. There are stages, for example, stage one, two, three, and four, and five. So data collection, cleaning, and preparing data, model training, and prediction. But mainly, there are three steps, data collection, model training, and prediction. The other steps are minor steps, which you don't need to include, because it is always which you need to pass through. Now, what are the types of machine learning? So there are mainly three types of machine learning, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement. So each type has distinct characteristics and the applications. For example, supervised learning has outcome information, finds patterns that relate to those outcomes, uses patterns to predict outcomes not yet known. In unsupervised learning, no outcome information is available, analyzes or identifies the groups without labels or human instructions, offers insights into characteristics that define groups. Now it comes to reinforcement learning, makes decision based on trial and error. Decision making algorithm is constantly refined based on rewards, excels in complex situations. Now, what are the applications across the industries machine learning is a powerful technology that enables computers to learn from data make predictions or decisions it has many applications across various industries such as finance business genetics healthcare retail and education for example machine learning can help to detect fraud recommend products diagnose disease optimize prices and assist the students Machine learning is a rapidly evolving field that offers many opportunities and challenges for both researchers and practitioners. Now, what are the challenges? So in machine learning, machine learning faces many challenges in its deployment and development, such as the quality of data and availability of the data, interpretability and explainability, scalability and efficiency, security and privacy, generalization and adaptation. These challenges require machine learning professionals to apply various techniques and tools to ensure the reliability, robustness, and usability of ML systems. By addressing these challenges, a machine learning can achieve more breakthroughs and impacts in various domains and problems. What are the future applications? The integration of data science and machine learning presents most opportunities in research automation, personalization, and innovation. It is poised to revolutionize diverse fields, and the next future for the job market will be or is currently data science. For the next 10 years, if the job opportunities, if you are looking for a job, it is only or it will be only data science, especially in India. It will be like for most of the less qualified people, data science will be the only field where you can find the job solutions easily in every city, every town. So I recommend to focus to learn on data science and then what are the impact on decision making process, the synergy of data science, and machine learning has empowered so organizations to make data driven decisions it has enabled proactive strategies and improved the operational of efficiencies decision making influencing factors are decision types 
So environment, ethics, emotions, individual differences, and the barriers. Now, what is the final conclusion? So I recommend the people to focus on data science, learn the basics of data science, and it will help you to have certain jobs at every moment. And also, you need to, if you want, you can subscribe our channel in order to get the detailed insights and few further updates in data science. I already have updated, uploaded more than 40 long videos, which you can have a look over it. So the synergy of data science and machine learning is driving a paradigm shift in decision making and innovation innovation process. Embracing these integration is crucial for almost every organization to 